Okay, we're off and running. We're going to start putting some numbers into our business idea, our business plan. In the first place, we're going to start with the sales and sales forecasting. How much money do we think we're going to bring into this business? There's two methods to forecast sales, top down, bottom up. There's advantages and disadvantages to each of these methods, and we're going to talk about which methods would be more appropriate for your business and help you decide how you're going to forecast those sales. We're also gonna talk about expenses. There's two types of costs. There's the startup costs and the recurring costs. Startup costs are all the costs you need to incur just to get the doors open and ready to make your first sale. We're talking about security deposits on um, the space you're gonna rent or um, attorney's fees to help you form that, uh, that business, whichever type of legal organization you're going to have. Um, perhaps there's some initial marketing costs that you're going to incur. Then those recurring costs are those costs that occur throughout the life cycle of your business, constantly uh, recurring every month. These are your monthly rent, your telephone, your utilities, your salaries, uh, advertising and marketing costs. We're also going to take a look at in, uh, funding. So we know what it's going to cost us to open this business. We want to have enough funds, enough runway to be to cover us the least maybe first six months of business. So how much is that in total and where is that money coming from? Is it going to be self-funded through owner contributions? Are there going to be loans? Are there going to be multiple partners each contributing or multiple shareholders each contributing uh, to this business? And then how are, are these investors or these loans gonna get paid back? Then last, we follow up with inventory. Now I know not every business has inventory. There's a lot of service-based businesses that don't. So some of this may be um, irrelevant to you, but there are some businesses that are service-based and also have an inventory. Great example of this is a salon. Salon services for, for hair, uh, nails, maybe massage, uh, those are all service-based, but they may have a front end where they have a product for sale. That's inventory. And there's costs associated with that inventory. If you're buying the inventory for X number of dollars, you want to make sure you're selling it for more than that X number of dollars and, and um, covering all the costs associated with having that inventory and, and selling it. So the assignment this week is a discussion board on sales forecasting to explain to the class how you're forecasting your sales. How are you coming up with your numbers? And I specifically made it a discussion board so that you can see all your classmates' methods, learn from each other. Maybe you'll see something that really intrigues you and you're like, oh, I didn't think of that. And then you're able to incorporate it. The startup costs assignment is, is just between you and I. Let me know where what you think your startup funds are, are going to be. These two things become the basis and the starting point of your financial plan that you're going to use, use next week to develop your rough draft for your financial plan. So this gives you a, a, a chance to, to kind of get familiar with putting together these numbers, what it looks like, uh, and definitely time well spent. There's also quiz two that goes over the concepts from this week. Till next time. Take care and happy numbers crunching.